With the help of a milling robot, first remove all protruding items such as roots, solid sediments and firmly seated foreign bodies, etc. Next, pull in the sliding and protecting foil to protect the liner proper from being damaged when it's pulled in. Now open the transportation packing of the liner. Fold the liner lengthways to form a plait that can be fixed to the pulling rope. With the winch adjusted to the maximum permissible tractive force, it pulls the liner continuously into the pipe at a speed of 5 meters per minute. When the plait arrives at the end shaft, open it and cut off the liner, leaving approximately 50 centimeters overhang at both ends. UV light sources are inserted into the shaft after the liner has been closed with headers at both ends and filled with compressed air. One end of the liner is then opened to allow the chain of UV lights to be pulled in. After setting up the liner and inserting the UV light source, the operating pressure in the liner can be slowly adjusted to the specified value. Now the UV lights can be switched on to begin curing the liner. During the entire curing phase the process is strictly monitored and documented. After the liner has been fully cured the UV lights are removed. Subsequently, the hardened liner is cut flush with both ends of the pipe. Now the inner protective foil is removed. Should there be an intermediate shaft between the two ends, the liner must of course be opened at this point. Now the various inlets can also be opened with the milling robot. A simple process that can be carried out in a relatively short space of time by a small team of qualified personnel.